hello and very warm welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn how to create equal widths for multiple y views in auto layout so our uh, output is something like this here you can see the buttons are approximately all of our same width and in today's video we are going to learn how to place these buttons or any other ui view with equal widths using auto layouts let's start open up our Xcode, create a new Xcode project, single view application, and we will say equal with UI use auto layout language will be shift, and here we will save it to our hard drive. And here we are approximately done now. So here, open up your main dot storyboard. Let me make it a little bigger so that you can see it more clearly. So here, I have make my view control a little bigger, one fifty percent. So first, for this, we will drag a UI view, which acts as our container view. And here, for more clarity, we will give it a color. And here make these constraints zero and zero and height will be whatever height you have needs so here and here it's saying that the by position because we didn't set it horizontally now it's So here we can check the constraints, equal height, trailing, leading, and center to x. Okay, and we will set it horizontally, vertically in container. Okay, now we are done with our container view. So now let's first, before dragging the control or any other view, we can calculate the width of our container view is 375 and we are going to place three buttons here so as i already told you that auto layout is uh, automatic calculation for the frames or mathematical automatic mathematical calculation for the frames of the controls based upon your constraints so here we have a width of 375 and we know that we have to place three buttons so first of all we will begin with what we will do we will divide a width with three because we need to add three buttons with equal space so we get that each button should have 125 width and so here i drag my first button here inside make it inside view i view yes it goes inside and we i will give it's a trailing zero top zero and bottom zero so but i will not give a steady bit because i have to make it pretty adjustable to different screen sizes and i add three constraints at the moment let change let us change this background color text color will be white and it's a button three for example and here I will set this color like this. So it's very this one. Okay. Now what I will do? I will press command left click uh -oh. and control key left click and then I drag to this UI view and here I will say equal widths. So now you can see my button grows to the equal widths of my UI view. Now I goes here. In the frame section I tap on my equal width now I know that I required width of my button should be 125 so I will make it 125 using the multiplier so here equal width we will tap and here you can see the multiplier this is one at the moment so we will change it uh, uh, uh. Mm. 
we will change it sorry for that and here we will say 0 0.3 or 4 and here you can see my button get resized to the 0.4 of the actual view width and here I can see the width is currently 150 so I need to readjust it again I will go here and make it 0.3 it's make little smaller and now 112.5 so I have to adjust it and now I will say 1.3.4 and here I get 1.127.5 the width and I will say 3 more. and here I get the width of 120 so you have to play with the multiplier in order to get the now I have done with the width now again I will drag one more button and here I will give it a constant that is 0 from the top trailing will be 0 and it will be from the button 3 so here you can see button 3 and bottom will be 0 and similarly I will give it a width to equal width of button 3 so here I say equal width and it make another button I will change the background color and text color here I will say button 2 and the background color will be will make it like this little this and here I will specify button 2 so here now we will drag and drop our third button and third and final button and we will give it a constraint of 0 0 0 and 0 so 0 is from the view current distance and here it's from the button 2 and here you go so we will say it button 1 text color will be white and background color will be um, little this one okay so now here you can see the width are the buttons are equally distributed and then you can check the width here so here 125, 125 and here 125. So now if I make it look like in other devices, smaller one, here you can say 1065, 107 and 106.5. So only 0.5 pixel is the difference. And here I will change to its iPhone 5SC and I will change it to iPhone 8 plus you can see it's make it's going to make equal approximately equal a point of fractions of uh, difference 0 0.5 0 0.5 or point something and here so to the next I it these buttons will appear uh, approximately or will appear equal widths to the user but in real life it's in real calculations it's approximately points of difference so here 256 and this is in iPad so here you can see 138.33 138.33 difference and 133.67 so it's a 4.7 difference so here in this video you learn how to make or uh, how to make UI buttons with equal widths using the constants in auto layout and if you like our video then please do share this video and give a thumbs up to this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe so that you can keep updated or you will be updated for our next video release thanks for watching bye for now